Ladies and gentlemen, Boxes Near Me presents David Mitchell's Doppelganger, according to one of our viewers. So please put your hands together for Dave Levine. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, I've got to turn off my cellular phone right now for the show. All right. I'm turning it off. All right. The power's been off. So today, uh, we're going to talk about you know, something that came up in the news today. Uh, apparently there was a flight, a Singapore Airlines flight that uh, took place. Uh, apparently there were 2,200 sheep in a cargo hold and, uh, well, they had to land the plane because it uh, was too much methane in the cabin. So it's not... I don't know if you could have foreseen this event, you know, if you could have somehow avoided the event in, in, a, in a way so as to make it uh, more hospitable for the cabin or crew or perhaps even for the sheep. Uh, this must have been an awfully large plane uh, to accommodate 2,200 sheep. So I'm hoping that perhaps next time they will you know, have a better plan as far as ventilating the cabin. In other news, Rupert Murdoch, after acquiring, what are you asking me to smile about something now? You know what? This is my smile. This is my smile. I smile like this. Uh, anyway, National Geographic, having been acquired by Rupert Murdoch, uh, Rupert Murdoch has already set an aggressive agenda for the program. Uh, National Geographic. As you know, uh, Rupert Murdoch does not believe in global warming. Uh, he, he does not believe that uh, it is something that exists and... Uh, Perhaps this is part of the reason why he's laid off 200 uh, very tenured employees of National Geographic. But the other possibility is that Rupert Murdoch is a businessman and he simply wants to maintain profitability or at least the viability of the National Geographic uh, media outlet. Um, I can see it both ways. I can see where he would like to you know, keep the thing at least sustaining to where you know, the great prestige of the magazine, the, the, the longevity could be preserved. And, uh, but I can also see where, you know, Rupert's views are going to be reflected more and more as, after all, he is the owner. Shots been fired. Bang, this time perhaps with a musket. Uh, be sure to visit Boxes Near Me at www.boxesnearme.com or give me a call at 480 I'm your host, David Levine. Thank you for watching the Boxes Near Me Minute. Have a great day.